Hi, I'm Michael Trigg, the Presentation Maestro. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now, I was asked this question on a recent webinar, and I'm afraid the recording is a little bit grainy. I look like the creature from the pit, but the answer's fairly sound, and I hope you enjoy it. Annabelle, one of the challenges that make your videos very distinctive. Everyone is doing them. What do you suggest to help your own to really stand out? Um, thank you, Annabelle. <sighs> By doing what we've done, frankly, most people are appalling on video. And most people do not connect and engage. And most people ramble. And most people indulge. And most people use bloody jargon that gets in the way. You strip out all the jargon. You become engaging and authentic and energetic on camera. That's going to make you stand out. And I say the same thing to people in business. Generally, with your, your context here, Annabelle, is, is videos here. But let's, let's broaden it. Before this sort of time, when we're all locked down, same thing. What, why should anybody choose you anyway? Not just you, Annabelle, but us. Why should anybody choose us? There are stacks of, sorry, Sophia, hat makers out there, uh, bankers out there, engineers out there, yeah, web designers, accountants, coaches. What makes you different? Show me one bank that is really much different from another one. Show me one insurance company that's really different from another one. Not many of us, apart from our personality, have a unique selling proposition. Not many. Some do, but not many. So the thing that makes you stand out, and I firmly believe this, you can probably hear in my voice, is that the way you connect and engage with people. And it's harder on video to do this than it is face to face. But that, I think, is going to make you stand out. Not necessarily the offer, not your background, as in background behind, and your, well, your commercial background, is how well they feel you get them. And let me finish this answer to you, Annabelle, with a little uh, anecdote for you all, because I think this sums it up completely. Um, I was working with a branding agency, one of the bigger ones, um, a few years ago in London. And this young guy on the program, he was charming, just out of university, about 25, I think. And he said, I was at a potential client earlier this week, and I was three minutes into my spiel, and the client said, stop. And I thought, mm, I've blown it. And the guy said, don't worry. He said, you haven't blown it. I know you can do the job. And I know the other four agencies I'm seeing this week can do the job. What I'm here to decide is, do I want to work with you for the next two or three years? Which I think encapsulates most of what we've been talking about. I hope you found that useful. Make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.